Hello, good morning, uh, uh, everyone. So today my topic is about foreign body and its implications in pediatric anesthesia. So uh, anyone who's encountered a foreign body, particularly a bronchus, would be aware how difficult these children can be. And it can be a nightmare for uh, uh, anesthetist and the surgeon. So we need to deal with this uh, situation with a lot more respect than many of the other situations. So it is uh, a potentially life-threatening uh, situation. And it's very common in children between one and three years of age. Why? Because um, they have a tendency to keep putting objects in the mouth. They can be quite distracted while they eat. And because of lack of proper dentition, they may not chew things properly. So anything could potentially be Uh, a marriage function and um, in the dining hall one of the child tends to choke on something which uh, it's uh, eating and uh, you're the nearest medical person around so people look at you so what would you do in this in this situation it is a condition or it could be it could be a situation where you could encounter any time and uh, you should have the necessary skills to deal with this situation because it can be a, a do or die situation for the child so you need to be aware of the uh, cardiac life support protocol when it comes to managing the foreign body bronchus. So a child who chokes on something which it was eating, the first thing you need to find out is if the child is conscious and able to cough. So if the child is conscious and able to cough, ask the child to do so. This can easily expel the foreign body in some, some children. Again, it may not work or in situations where the child is unconscious or becomes unconscious or the obstruction is very severe, they cannot generate a, a forceful cough. Situation is going to get from bad to worse. So what can you do in this situation? If it is a child, which is, by child I mean, if it's more than one year, you do what is called the Hemlich maneuver. Hemlich maneuver is you do a, a forceful upward and backward thrust with your two arms locked together and you press on the child's epigastrium and you do forceful jerks. This will increase the intrathoracic pressure and it could, could expel the foreign body. So that is, this is for a child more than one.